welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. We're staying with cricket. The acrimonious nature of West Indies cricket continues to make the regional headlines. The Guyana Cricket Board is currently considering legal action to have TNT Cricket Board President as Ambassaras removed as Vice President of Cricket West Indies. The GCB argues that the March 25 election, which saw as Ambassaras voted in as Vice President, was flawed and illegal. In a letter directed to CWI President Dr. Kishore Shalo, dated October 4, 2023, the GCB indicated that at the CWI's annual general meeting, it was communicated that it withdrew its nomination of Mr. Basarat for the post of Vice President. The letter went on to declare that the executive members of the GCB have unanimously decided to demand the res resignation of Mr. Basarat, declaring his current stint as illegal and illegitimate. Cricket West Indies has since responded to the GCB stating that the election for the post of Vice President was conducted in accordance with the organization's memorandum and articles of association. Fazir, the ugly side of West Indies cricket, has again raised its head. It, it has, and um, I, I alluded to it in the, the earlier discussion, and forgive me for bringing that up then, because I didn't realize we we're going to take a break before moving in uh, to this particular topic. But it, it, it is a continuation of, of this antagonistic, confrontational side of things that we seem to take great delight in, not just in West Indies cricket, but in, in, in many different spheres, uh, but when we talk about sport especially. Uh, and the, the, the question is, what kind of response do we anticipate? Do we really expect that Azim Basarat is going to announce tomorrow morning in consideration of the, uh, the complaint of the Guyana Cricket Board, I am stepping down? That's not going to happen. The, uh, and, and in the meantime, people will be entrenched in their views. Uh, we have uh, the regional Super 50 coming up in a week's time right here in Trinidad and Tobago. Shouldn't that be the focus? Should, given the, the massive embarrassment that a Cricket World Cup is on right now in India, and the West Indies, the two-time champions, and then beaten finalists, are not involved, couldn't qualify for a World Cup. Sh shouldn't it be the focus of the Cricket, and to, at least even if there are differences, to not to make them public issues? But again, that's why, and forgive me for bringing up the, the, the phrase I used at the start of part one, but this is distraction by dotishness, as far as really dealing with the fundamental issues concerning the governance of West Indies cricket. Yeah, you also spoke about in the first segment because the, the issues are, of course, intertwined when you think about it in the larger picture. You mentioned that, you know, eventually these matters go down to, uh, a it becomes a legal issue and then it's pending and, you know, nothing ever really comes out of it. Uh, the GCB has noted that if... Mr. Basra does not step down. They're going to seek, uh, they're going to make it into a legal matter. Is that another issue? Well, that's why so many people want to be lawyers, because there's always a legal opinion to be had, a legal opinion to be sought, the reaction protocols to be filed and then responses uh, to be made. And then you have your big team turning up for X, Y, Z hearing and so on. Uh, the, these matters reflect our inability as Caribbean people to resolve issues that, that really should not come to this. And, and of course, we see it all over the world where there are issues and sue and counter suit and so on. So I'm not saying that this is somehow unprecedented. But what I'm saying is surely the fundamental issue for these individuals, the vast majority of whom are male, so these men should be aware that they were elected to seek the welfare of West Indies cricket. So let's go down that road. Let's say that the, the officials of the Guyana Cricket Board have determined without any doubt whatsoever that the removal of Azim Basarat is in the best interest of West Indies cricket. Can they explain how? Even, even if Basarat were to be pelt, flung out tomorrow morning, and replaced by someone who the Guyana Cricket Board approves of. Where is the evidence to suggest that there is anything happening within the administrative structures of Cricket West Indies, 
Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board, Guyana Cricket Board, Wynwoods, Leewards, JCA, Barbados Cricket Association. Where is the evidence to suggest that there is visionary leadership, that there is not a preoccupation with scoring points and taking people to court and, uh, and filing legal matters, but there is a concern about the welfare and the, the, the future of West Indies cricket? Yeah, Faz, you know what? I want to juxtapose some dates here because I understand the point that you're making and I recognize that you're, you're fed up with this never-ending chaotic state of, of West Indies Cricket Administration. But the letter that the GCB sent to the CWI regarding this Basarath issue was the 4th of October. The letter Basarath, the letter Kishore Shallow wrote reprimanding Conde Riley was the 5th of October. So I am, I'm thinking that within the space of 24 hours, we have some crossfire um, about issues that involve the administration of West Indies cricket, but as you are correctly pointed out, pointing out, um, doesn't address the declining state of West Indies cricket. And, and let's, let me be even more sinister in that regard. The 4th of October yes. was the day before the first match of the World Cup. Mm. The 5th of October was the opening day of the World Cup. Mm. So, so, so therefore, what better way to try to distract us, the media, from highlighting this, this humiliating experience that we have to endure for the next five and a half to six weeks by coming up with these things? Yeah. By, what, by, by, go ahead. Go yeah. ahead Lance. One of the issues that we found a little confusing was the reason, or whatever reason it was, that the Ghana Cricket Board had taken so long to pursue this. And I do remember, in hindsight, when the election was, 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 um, was when, it, when it happened and we were reviewing it on the show, there was some talk about a, a little issue that had delayed the, the elections and so on, but it was, it was sorted out. That's, that's, that's what we were told. Now, the Ghana Cricket Board is suggesting that they had, during this period, um, been behind the scenes pressing to have this thing addressed. And the reason why they are coming up now, so many months later, is because it isn't being addressed in the way that, that they had wanted. I hear that, and I understand if someone lands. Because what had happened, Faz, as you recognize, is that they had withdrawn their nomination for uh, as ambassador for whatever, whatever reason. And uh, they feel that based on the withdrawing of his name as a nominee, that that should transfer into him not getting the support, which eventually he, he used to become the vice president, or he, he became the vice president on the platform of support, which the GCB is now saying they had withdrawn their nomination for him. And that's why, Lance, we need clarity. But, but, but again, are we going to get clarity? Again, remember 2019, when there was the feeling and, and, and the incumbent, uh, Dave Cameron, said it. He was convinced that he had enough votes. He had the assurances of enough individuals that he would, he would win the day yet again to be president of Cricket West Indies. And it turned out differently. Have we ever to this day been given an explanation by the, 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 those involved in that room to explain how those who had apparently given their word to Dave Cameron chose to do otherwise, and, 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 and we keep going on with these things. So, so yes, this particular point concerning Azim Basarat and the withdrawal of that support, shouldn't we expect, rather than, than some legalistic response or some chastening sort of uh, co communique, shouldn't we be expecting some sort of clarity some sort of, rather than just saying that it has followed all of the due procedures and so on. That is not good enough. Mm -hmm. But again, it is good enough because we, 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 as, uh, we, we, those who pursue it are beaten down mm -hmm. by the fact that, look, you know, move on, move on. This, this thing is getting us nowhere. Well, look at where we are. Our West Indies continually sliding in the rankings because ultimately, Lance and Mariah, isn't this what 
we we follow West Indies cricket, but we don't follow West Indies cricket to hear about Azim Basarat or Kishore Shalo or Ricky Scariot or, or anybody else uh, on the administrative side. We follow West Indies cricket because of the exploits of our young men and young women on the field of play, and we hope to be inspired by it. Not having to deal with with these sorts of issues and being mindful of the fact that again, where the state of our game is. Yeah, yeah Art Faz, we're going to leave it there. I, I should point out that I just got some information here accusing Dr. Kishore Shallow of being unfair to Conde Riley in that meeting when uh, he was accused of not um, taking his um, his his role as chairman of that that committee um, properly. Um, I, I am told that he he had a fractured shoulder and he was not well. So for Dr. Shallow to um, be as, uh, as, um, as, as complaining, uh, complaining about his performance in the meeting, I, I, I have some information here that is suggesting that uh, Shallow is being unfair to um, Conde Riley, who, as I said, had a, a fractured shoulder, we're told, and was not well. So um, <laughs> we, have, we have different stories coming through, Faz, and um, not pleasant this look for West Indies cricket, but we've got to follow it because it's a part of um, the, the, the platform that runs West Indies cricket. So um, thanks for uh, sitting in with us on these two segments, uh, very gloomy segments as far as West Indies cricket is concerned, but um, we'll follow this story and see what happens next. Thanks, Faz. Absolutely, Lance. Don't get me wrong. You are absolutely right that these issues must be followed. But, but again, as someone like yourself and myself, who had to endure these things for decades, where is the evidence that the resolution makes a difference? But but you're right. These things can't just be allowed to just slide by. I yeah. take your point. Yeah. On the other side of the break, something more positive. Track and field, an iconic star, Mommy Rocket and her Pocket Rocket Foundation. What happened today at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel on the other side of the break?